In this program, we're going to use the do while loop in order to allow the users to repeat the execution of a program as many times as they like. We're going to use a program that's almost complete already. This program is going to just do a conversion of miles to kilometers. We have the variables declared an unsigned integer answer equals 1, which we're going to use in our do while loop to, to allow the user to choose to repeat the uh, program without terminating it. We also have the variables for the calculation, miles and kilometers of type float. And here's the example calculation where we prompt the user to enter the miles, uh, enter the distance in miles, scan F to read that, the simple calculation to convert to kilometers, and then the printf statement that will print out the distance in kilometers is equal to and whatever the value of kilometers is that we just computed. What we want to do with this program is to allow our user to run the program again, enter a different value for conversion, and do this as many times as they choose. If you don't, if you don't have this technique, then you have to run the program, put in a value, and get your answer, and then the program terminates. There's no way to let the program run over and over again without terminating it. We can use a do while loop to take care of that. What we would want to do in this case is to make sure that the calculation occurs inside the loop and at the bottom of the loop we want to ask our user would you like to perform another calculation and give them the opportunity to do that. We're going to use the do while loop. So let's go to the top of our block of code and let's enter do. Then we're going to use the left curly brace and we'll go down here and we will enter the right curly brace. So now we have the uh, calculations are inside the do loop, do while loop. At the bottom of the loop we need to put the while and then whatever the terminating condition will be here and a semicolon. Alright, that terminating condition is going to be determined by an input from the user. So after this program has done its calculation and output the result, we will ask our user, do you want to run the program again, or do you want to do another conversion, or some statement like that. So we need to print F here. Double quote. Let's say, do you want to convert, since this is a conversion from kilometers or mile to miles, let's say, do you want to convert another value? All right, now, we need to tell them how to answer this question. So in parentheses, Let's say 1 equals yes, okay, slash 0 equals no. So that will indicate to them what they should input. Then we'll have our backslash in, double quote, uh, right paren, semicolon. So our message to the user is just this. Do you want to convert another value? And if they do, they'll enter 1. And if they're finished, they'll answer with a 0. We need to read this in with a scan F. So we need scan F. And the variable that I'm using to collect that result is just an unsigned integer called answer. So we'll need to read that in with the scanf. So our scanf with a unsigned integer, we want to do a percent u with a double quote first, double quote percent u for unsigned integer, double quote comma, and percent answer. All right, so we're going to have them answer whatever they want, either with a 1 or a 0, and then the test to terminate the loop will depend upon that answer. So as long as our answer, while answer is not equal to, let's do it that way, as long as our answer is not equal to 0, then we want to continue with the loop. So let's close these parentheses down by taking away some of these spaces. All right, so now our program is going to work like this. We'll enter the do while loop. We'll get the input from the user. We will do the calculation and output the result. Then when we finish with that, we will prompt our user with, do you want to convert another number? Enter 1 for yes, 0 for no. And then we'll read that number in. We have the test at the bottom of the loop, and that's why this is a good application of the do while. We input the value at the end of the loop that we want to test, and then we test it immediately. And if the answer is not equal to zero, then we go back to the top of the loop and we do another calculation. If the answer is one, 
then we, I'm sorry, if the answer is zero, then we are done and we'll exit the loop and we'll terminate the program there. So let's build this and run it through some examples and see what it looks like. Here's our output window. Let's make it smaller. And we'll put it down here so we can see the code. Enter the distance in miles. So we're going through the loop the first time. So let's put in, okay, 100 miles. The distance in kilometers is 162. And then we have the message, do you want to convert another value? One for yes, zero for no. Make it a little bit wider. Okay, I do want to convert another value, so I'll type in one. And then our loop is going to execute again. We go back to the top of the loop, and we have the prompt, enter the distance in miles for the second number we want to convert. Okay, I'll try 50 this time. And we have the converted value is 81 kilometers, and we again have the message, do you want to convert another number? So this will repeat. The program will run over and over and over again until you input the value 0, indicating that you're finished. So let's do one more value. Let's do 25. Oh, that's, this is a typical problem, though, with this. Um, I should have entered the value 1 because I wanted to continue, and I jumped ahead, and I entered 25 instead. All right. So let's stop this because I made a mistake, and then we'll run it again. But it's good that you saw that mistake. That's easy to do. I was asking for a 1 or a 0, and I was typing in the value for kilometers, and I, my program wasn't ready for it. Okay, so enter the distance in miles. Let's just quickly repeat those values. So let's do 100. You want to convert another value. You have to answer that question first. 1. Yes, I do. The next value is 50. We get the equivalent value in kilometers. Do I want to do another value? Yes, so I have to enter the 1 then enter, then I enter the distance in miles. So let's do 25, and then we convert the value. So we can continue to do this until we're finished, and let's suppose that we are done, we don't want to convert any, any more values, I can enter a zero for no, and we exit the loop and terminate the program with pressing the key to continue. And I've done that. All right, so here's a example using the do while loop which you can wrap around any calculations that you want your program to do, and you can repeat these calculations as many times as you wish with the user typing in either a 1 or a 0 to either continue or to terminate. That concludes this video.